I said salute to the untouchable True School Sports Empire. <laughs> That's over right, the untouchable. Not only the South Florida boxing scene, but the worldwide boxing scene. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, interesting news in that middleweight division. We know November the 12th, the boogeyman, the guy that nobody wants to fight, Johnny Beck, Ali Kanuli, the newly crowned WBO middleweight champion. He'll be making his first defense of that title against the UK's very own uh, Denzel Bentley, the very game, hungry, and determined Denzel Bentley. But um, there's been some news. It's a movement coming out of this WBO convention down there in Puerto Rico. A lot, lot, a lot of uh, news and boxing is coming out of that whole ordeal with, at the WBO convention. And WBO president Paco Valcarcel, he's pretty much came, he's, he's came out ahead and he stated that uh, Johnny Beck, after should he be victorious and and beat Denzel Bentley that he will have to defend his belt against none other than uh, his mandatory challenger, Jaime Munguia. Now, we've been down this road before. If you guys remember just last year, last, no, not last year, this earlier this year. Wow, it's been, it's been such a long year. I, I, I thought it was last year. But earlier this year, uh, Munguia had a chance to fight Johnny Beck for the interim while Andrew, Andrew was trying to sort himself out with the whole Zach Parker slash Johnny Beck situation. He declined to fight um Johnny Beck, right? And that's ultimately how Johnny Beck wound up fighting Danny Dignam because, like, he was the next highest guy in the rankings that would fight uh, Johnny Beck. You know, you see what I'm saying? So uh, the question becomes, and, and we'll ask the question again. We asked it back, I believe it was in May or April. We'll ask it again here in late October. Will Munguia step up to the plate and finally fight Johnny Beck? Now, if you want to play devil's advocate and, and, and try to rationalize why he didn't fight Johnny Beck the first time, the first time he didn't fight him was because it was only for an interim belt, and Johnny Beck's not going to bring a lot of money to the table, and he's a good fighter, and he's very dangerous, and he could beat Munguia, and the risk wasn't worth the reward. That, that's at least what you would think his managers and handlers would say. But now, the big boy strap is on the line. The WBO title's on the line, so... If he doesn't fight, if Johnny Beck beats Ben Zanzel Bentley, which is not a gimme because you've got to always take care of what's in front of you. If he turns it down again, then I, I think Munguia really is, he might just be the biggest duck in boxing. Um, because there's just a lot of guys that just, he doesn't want to fight, that he hasn't fought. And, and he's got a whole truckload of fights. He's got like, what is it, 38, 40-something fights. The dude is ready, and he should be in those big, important, impactful meaningful fights and I feel like a fight with him and Johnny Beck not, not only is it a fight that this division desperately needs because let's face it the middleweight division is trash one of the worst divisions in boxing but the middleweight division needs a good a, a good fight like a big fight and and this would definitely be something to look forward to if Johnny Beck could beat Denzel Bentley and this becomes a possibility um I think it'd be a good fight all action fight you know Munguia has been improving under the watchful eye of uh Mexican boxing legend Eric Morales and you know what better way to test his skills than for a world title against a fighter like Johnny Beck? If he's able to fight Johnny Beck and get that scalp on his resume, then all of a sudden the narrative about Munguia completely changes. He goes from being, you know, in my opinion, one of the most protected fighters in boxing to a guy that now you look at as a legitimate world champion. Because truth be told, when he won the world title at 54, he beat Saddam Ali, who won the title off of a circumstance. He fought another smaller guy who had a belt in Kodo, who was older. And a shell of himself when he took advantage of, of, of the fight. Albeit as the underdog, but he took advantage of the fight. Munguia fought basically a welterweight to win a title at 54. So it, I don't I know he I know he's won a world title, but I don't look at Munguia as a world champion. To me, he's a fighter that's never won a world title because that Saddam Ali uh, fight was bullshit. So to me, this would be his first legitimate world championship fight against Johnny Beck, you know, and and you know, you'd have the, the the boxing skills, the technical skills that Johnny Beck's bringing to, to, to the table, the physical strength, the punch of power in both hands versus the, the, the seek and destroy Mexican style of Jaime Munguia, the, the, the durability of Jaime Munguia, the body punching of Jaime Munguia, the improved counter punching of Jaime Munguia. There's a, lot, there's a lot of things to like. And I just think, you know, we don't, we, we don't know what's going on with Jamal Charlo. He can't get dates. He can't get fights because PBC's apparently gone broke. We know that uh, Golovkin and Johnny Beck aren't going to fight because they're on that whole, you know, I don't want to fight him because he's my, he's my elder bullshit. Um, 
so what do you think? We need something to happen in this division, and and hopefully, um, this could be a fight that 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 we get if Johnny Beck is victorious next month against Denzel Bentley. But uh, that's the news. Let let me know what you guys think. Johnny Beck, Jaime Munguia, WBO middleweight title. It sounds right. It sounds right. It feels right. And I feel like if you're Golden Boy Promotions, Zenith Promotions, Miguel Beltran, all parties involved on that side, you should be. Like this should you if Johnny Beck beats Bentley, you should jump on this opportunity. Now I want to throw this out there just in case Johnny Beck somehow gets exposed and loses to, to Denzel Bentley. If Denzel Bentley wins, I have every all the confidence in the world that they're gonna jump on the opportunity to fight Denzel Bentley. Just just because we've seen what's happened with Denzel Bentley, he got folded up by Felix Cash, but uh, we know that there will be a reluctancy to fight Johnny Beck because we've already seen what happened. When they were both positioned earlier this year to fight for the interim title, and they refuse to take the fight. So here we are again. We'll, we'll definitely make a follow up video to this in the future, but that's the news. The WBO has stated that Johnny Beck will have to defend his belt against mandatory challenger Hyam Mungia next if he should be victorious against Denzel Bentley come November the 12th. So make it that what you will. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Do you think that Johnny Beck will, or that Mungia would fight Johnny Beck for the WBO middleweight world title if given the opportunity. Leave a comment down below. Make sure y'all take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care. Guys. Thank you for watching True School Sports. No, follow this kid. Oh. You know, he's a true, uh, you know, it's a young, true, uh, passionate uh, uh, person who follows boxing. He, 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 he wakes up thinking about boxing and he goes to sleep thinking about boxing. This is, so, this is true. This is good true. kid, good man, and looking forward to seeing him uh, everywhere yeah. in the boxing world. Hey, man, if you ain't subscribed to True School Sports, you're fucking up, man. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Fucking up big time. Make sure, man. <laughs>